Mountain Devil, The Search for Frank Peterson, is about a guy, Frank Peterson, who supposedly had an encounter with a large hairy hominid back in the 70s, and he documented the entire experience. But apparently he didn't get enough footage to make a full-length movie, so they filled it in with their own investigation. So did they find Bigfoot? Well, seeing how I haven't seen this on the news or anything, I'm guessing not. But let's see if Mountain Devil is worth a watch. So, like I said, this movie is about Frank Peterson a man from Rockton, Pennsylvania, who compiled over 15 hours of film and audio. All the scenes in this movie are supported by this. So even though they're recreations, they're all backed by the real thing. The source? Just trust me, bro. What you believe? We open up in Rockton, where they interview several locals. It's all pretty typical stuff. Mostly, I was driving and something ran out in front of me. One guy had a rock thrown at him, and they even talked to Stan Gordon, a pretty well-known researcher who does a good job introducing the movie. Every year, reports continue of people reporting encounters with these strange hairy beasts from throughout Pennsylvania. Welcome to the movie, Mountain Devil, to search for Frank Peterson. I'm Stacy Peterson, and my grandfather was Frank Peterson. Now they talk to Stacy Peterson, the granddaughter of Frank Peterson, and John Wallace, son of Randy Wallace, who was with Frank the day of his encounter. Or really, should I say, the weeks leading up to his encounter, because a lot happens before they even see the beast, mainly in the form of footprints, in which he documents his findings. Now back to the present, where they talk about footprints and how they're the best physical evidence we have. The team finds some, they measure them and take casts. They look to all be about 16 to 18 inches long with a stride of about five and a half feet. 69, 68 inches. They even think they might have found some footprints live while filming. When they get there though, they can tell it's just a deer showing how easy it is to misidentify this stuff. Back to the Peterson story. When Stacy's grandma passed away, the family started going through some of their stuff and found this old trunk. And inside of it were all these home movies, journal entries, and audio tapes of Frank's encounter. When we see Frank walking around in the woods, he finds a stick structure, only a couple miles from his cabin, with no other hunters in the area. Then, next to it, they find a dead possum. Something with hands grabbed it, took a bite, and put it up in the tree for later. Now back to the team. I'm starting to see a pattern here. The Frank footage talks about something, then the team talks about the same thing. And here it's no exception. They find some twisted up trees that could be something like a tree structure. They also go into some caves and find a bunch of bones. Which is cool, but look at this place. These guys can barely squeeze in there. I seriously doubt Sasquatch could. Okay, back to Frank's story. One last time. And we get the grand finale. Him and his buddy Randy were out hunting. Frank goes to the cabin early when he hears a gunshot in the distance. Randy comes running, saying he shot something big and Harry. He wants to leave right now, but it's going to be dark soon and they have to hike to the car, so that's not really an option. Just then, Bigfoot pounds on the door and walks to the window peering in. Frank goes outside, figuring Randy shot it and it might be hurt. And I guess he wants to hurt it more because it comes out of the shadows and Frank fires a shot. The guys are harassed by the beast all night, and in the morning, they decide it's safe to go outside and get out of there. 
As they head out, they see it. And this time, when they shoot, it kills Bigfoot. They thought the right thing to do would be to bury it. So that's what they did, right there next to the cabin. But now, the cabin is gone, and despite people digging around, they haven't found anything. Supposedly, right after the encounter, the military came in and dug up its remains. Okay, sure. PA officials had come in to investigate, and eventually the U.S. Army had moved in. And supposedly, I mean, of course it's just rumor, but they had come in and supposedly seized the creature and never to be seen again. The final shot is the original 8mm footage the guys took that day. Mountain Devil leaves a lot of loose ends open, and it covers it up with, oh, the government took the body. It's kind of hard to believe that some guy shot, cut up, and buried a Bigfoot, then never told a soul until they found all these tapes in a trunk. I'm just not buying it, and that's because it isn't real. It can't be. If you search Frank Peterson Bigfoot, the only results are this movie. Nothing about the story, his granddaughter, the cabin, there's nothing. Where some movies, like Something in the Woods, try to recreate a famous Bigfoot story, Mountain Devil just makes it up. And whatever, I'm fine with that as long as it's done well. And here, it's okay. If you're into these types of movies, then you'll enjoy this. But it is the same stuff that you've seen in just about any Bigfoot documentary. The whoops, the footprints, the tree knocks, they're all here, and it's nothing really new. I will say they did a pretty good job with the costume. For the most part. Obviously with a smaller budget you can't go out and have Hollywood make you a $10,000 suit so you work with what you got and that's what they did. They shot quick glimpses of the creature and in low light so you get the gist of what's going on without saying oh that's just a guy in a monkey suit. There are some technical problems that I noticed at least with the camera where it looks like there's some color issues. It's weird, but if you look at a leaf, the edge is all different colors. I can't really explain it other than it looks like when you recorded something in the 90s on a VHS camera. Maybe they fixed that in the sequel. Oh yeah, Mountain Devil is the first of a trilogy. So let's watch them all and see what it's all about. As for this one, I enjoyed the Frank Peterson scenes and that much makes it worth a watch. But the rest just kind of felt like filler, and it was mostly stuff that I already knew. I give it two steamer trunks full of Bigfoot evidence out of four. Just couldn't leave it there. It wasn't meant to be seen by common folks. So we took the rest of the day off, and that's just what we did. We buried it.